What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Here we go again. Another great game, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I love this game. I've been really enjoying the characters, the world, and you know, just the whole experience has been really magical for me, no pun intended. But the game is by no stretch of the imagination a perfect game. I've ran into a lot of glitchy issues, bugs, frame rate dips that have been just unacceptable. And um, I've seen characters floating through the air. Non-player characters, guards just floating up against the wall. I got stuck in, a, in the floor myself. Uh, there's been instances where quest items did not appear. Just a bunch of crazy stuff that I'm happy to announce is getting patched and has been patched. Now, I got The Witcher 3 on PS4. Uh, CD Projekt Red has already released a patch, 1.03 for the PlayStation 4, and they are in the process of releasing a patch for the Xbox One version of the game. This article is on GameSpot.com. Witcher 3 PS4 patch released. Xbox One update coming soon. CD Projekt Red has released a new patch for the PlayStation 4 edition of this open-world RPG, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. The patch 1.03 is available in Europe and numerous other countries, but is yet to be deployed in North America. It should be available everywhere as soon as possible, CD Projekt Red says in its forums. The patch makes a number of visual tweaks, including a particularly grisly change that will make blood particles properly appear on water surfaces in the wake of battle. It also corrects an issue that caused an infinite loading screen and, in response to feedback, enlarges the text for the loot screen. Patch 103 also, quote, improves performance, especially in cutscenes and during gameplay, end quote, which could be a reference to the game's reported frame rate issues. Now, the Xbox One version of The Witcher 3 is still waiting its first patch, but it shouldn't be much longer. CD Projekt Red community lead Marcin Momot says on Twitter that this patch is currently going through Microsoft's certification process, which means, barring any problems, it should be released soon. I'm really happy to hear that. Uh, like I said, these issues are noticeable, but I don't think they break the game. Uh, I had to restart and, uh, my save because I actually went to do a quest and the, the, the item I was supposed to get wasn't there. Also, seeing enemies floating around in the air is not good. Uh, I saw my horse get stuck in the landscape in a hill. And uh, hopefully they get this, this shit taken care of because it's an amazing game. And I don't fully follow them. I'm not going, you know, ape shit to CD Projekt Red. They made an amazing game. And for the most part, it works really well. If you're having any issues with The Witcher, let me know in the comments. Have you seen this crazy stuff? Have you seen characters floating? Have you seen your character's facial uh, textures completely disappear during a cutscene and then reappear during the cutscene? Just weird stuff like that. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If you do, and if you like me, show your support by giving a thumbs up to the video. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.